Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a fantasy comedy film, Freaky Friday. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts with a middle-aged widowed therapist mom who has a punk rock band and wakes up her tardy 15-year-old daughter. When her daughter does not get up in bed, the mom takes her time to meditate, do her nails, prepare breakfast for her other kids, then back to the cycle of waking up her daughter again. Still, the therapist mom gives up in a deep sleep, whereas her naughty son uses a loud horn to wake his big sister. In just a snap, the daughter gets up in bed to get ready. In the car on the way to school, the daughter reminds her therapist mom that she will get a little stud. Considering that the wedding between her and her fiancé is just around the corner, the mom refuses. Once the daughter gets out of the car, a blonde girl greets her mom. The blonde girl happens to be her former best friend, whom she hates now. The daughter meets her band, and they talk for a while when a handsome school staff member, nicknamed Handsome, catches her attention. It is apparent that she has a huge crush on this guy. Meanwhile, the mom collides with a car in front of her as she is on her phone. Not long after, the daughter receives the report card her English teacher gives to her. Apparently, the English teacher mistreats her, that's why he gives her a failing grade despite her efforts. Owing to this moment, she confronts the English teacher, but then he declines to change it or give her a chance to prove herself. Simultaneously, the mom deals with the car trouble, then starts tending her client. Later on, a feud happens between the daughter and the blonde girl while they are in a volleyball tryout. Unfortunately, the coach put only her in detention after the incident. Concurrently, her crush shows up all of a sudden. They talk about her band before introducing themselves to each other. Following this, Handsome even offers her a ride on his motorcycle. Given the opportunity, the daughter declines, for her mom will get mad. Back at home, in the garage, the daughter and her bandmates prepare for daily practice. However, once her mom gets home, she unplugs the electricity because she can't bear the loud noise coming from the garage. As this happens, the band receives good news. They will join the Wango Tango auditions the next day, which is Friday, since one of the bands dropped out of the said competition. Even though ecstatic about the opportunity, the daughter worries that she won't be able to make it due to her mom's wedding rehearsal dinner. Notwithstanding the incompatibility of her schedule, she still promises to catch up with the band by convincing her mom. When she goes to her room, she chases off her naughty little brother and his cousins out of bed. Henceforth, though, she realizes her door is missing. She runs down the kitchen to talk to her mom about it, where she explains that she only did that on account of her detention and failing grades. That night, the daughter, together with her soon-to-be stepdad and her family, go to a Chinese restaurant for dinner. You can see how aloof the daughter is towards her stepdad for she still can't recover from the death of his biological dad years ago. In light of the band audition on Friday, the daughter finally informs her therapist mom about it. Mad about the plan, the mom and her daughter get into a heated argument in the restaurant's corner. While this is happening, the Chinese restaurant owner interrupts them to give them fortune cookies. The owner's daughter tries to stop her, as if she knows exactly what her mother will do. When the restaurant owners start to bicker in Chinese, the mother has no choice but to accept the fortune cookies. Shortly after, they open the fortune cookies that say, a journey soon begins, its prize reflected in another's eyes. When what you see is what you lack, the selfless love will change you back. Thereby, a shattering earthquake occurs, and this is where a strange phenomenon commences. After the strange scenario, the mother and daughter go back to their dining table to ask if the rest felt the earthquake as well. Weirdly, it seems like they are oblivious, and that they are the only ones who experience the spectacle. When Friday morning comes, the mom wakes up as early as usual. However, she wonders why she sleeps in her daughter's bedroom. She touches her hair, but her hair is not that long, nor does her proportion that teenager-like. After checking herself in the mirror, she realizes that she has the body of her daughter. As she becomes wary of the situation, her naughty son barges in the rooms, saying their mom is dead. Thereby, the therapist mom wastes no time to awaken her daughter, which happens to inhabit her body. As this happens, the naughty son notices the change in his big sister's personality as she talks like his mom. When the daughter finally wakes up, they immediately realize the weight of their situation. With the wedding and band audition coming up, they can't be like this forever. In order to come back to their bodies, they try to clash onto each other, but nothing works. Not long after, they remember the earthquake that happened last night and the audacity of it. So they plan to get through the morning trying to be each other, then go back to the Chinese restaurant at lunch. That day at school, Handsome appears as the mother and daughter argue about how they should behave. The mom won't approve of the guy, but since they are disguising themselves as each other, she decides to get on with it. 
Meanwhile, the daughter does not put much effort into the plan, because her naughty little brother starts to suspect her. As the mother walks together with Handsome, she attempts to offend him, so he will not see her daughter again. Later on, she greets the blonde girl who used to be her daughter's best friend, but she pushes her away to her surprise. Upon this, does the mom realize that she is no longer her daughter's friend? The reality made her furious to call the blonde girl's mom, but her daughter's bandmate stopped her from doing so. For the time being, the daughter brings a new look or some massive transformation to her mom's body through fashion style, piercings, and haircuts. She spends a lot of money with this, which liberates her in a way as well. When she reaches her mom's office, the daughter finds out quite a lot of things. First, her mom has bad eyesight. Two, she is about to get a root canal appointment with a dentist. Three, she spends $10,000 on halibut. And last but not least, being a therapist can be stressful. As the daughter bores herself out with a surge of clients, her therapist mom visits the English teacher's room to ask him about the constant effort daughter receives even though she does not deserve it. As it turns out, she recognizes the English teacher as the guy she dumped years ago, and now he seeks revenge on her through her daughter. Accordingly, the mom threatens to report the teacher, unless he will treat her daughter right, who appears to be her. When the bandmates open the topic about the audition, the mom emphasizes that she is not coming. This way, the bandmates make a point to remind her that she no longer receives attention from her mom because of her stepdad. At this point, the mom slowly understands why her daughter is acting that way. When lunchtime arrives, they go to the restaurant to figure out how to break the sudden shift of their bodies. The restaurant owner's daughter calls her mom to explain what she did, but she does not answer. Embarrassed by what her mom did, the restaurant owner's daughter advised them to follow what the fortune cookie tells them to do, be selfless. It follows that the mom needs to attend his naughty son's parent-teacher conference. Given her appearance, the teacher won't believe she is the mom, so she persuades her daughter to keep pretending like her and attend the meeting instead. Once there, the daughter reads a heartfelt letter her naughty little brother wrote for her. With this in mind, the daughter gets to appreciate her little brother more. Back at school. The mom tries to make amends with the blonde girl for the sake of the old times she spent with her daughter. The blonde girl asks her to sit with her in class only to deceive her, so she can go to detention. Meanwhile, the mom's fiancé invites the daughter, still in her mom's body, to a talk show interview about her psychology book about adulthood. As this happens, Handsome notices the mom sneaking out of the detention room, thinking she's the daughter based on her appearance. He then suggests helping her with her tests, since he has access to the faculty. This indicates that the guy is not bad at all, and that he is someone suitable to be with her daughter. While browsing through the papers, the mom seeks revenge on the blonde girl by erasing her answers and writing I'm stupid on it. For the time being, since clueless about the whole topic, the daughter finds herself ranting about how adults are such naggers. She also shows off her carefree side, despite being her mom's body. Owing to this situation, the mom watches the television show. Thereby, Hanson finds her mom cool. Of course, she is cool. She is a 15-year-old rock band guitarist who is in her mom's body. Wanting so bad to go home so she can scold her daughter for not acting according to plan, she then convinces Handsome to give her a ride, which he refuses to do, because of the no motorcycle riding policy she talked about the other day. He also says that she seems really different from the person he thought she was. Afterward, Handsome meets the daughter and mom at a coffee shop where he works. There, they talk about songs and bands, which seem really familiar to Handsome. However, their conversation must stop, for she is going to be late for the wedding rehearsal. Therefore, he offers her a ride home. Unfortunately, the mom's fiancé sees her on a motorcycle with another guy. Once home, the mom reasons out that the guy is the one whom her daughter likes. After that, Handsome appears in front of their home, serenading her. Consequently, the mom disguising herself as her daughter has no choice but to drag him out. She also seals his lips with a smooch, so he can stop thinking about his confusion about their identities. At the rehearsal dinner, the daughter's bandmates try to persuade her to go to the audition, not knowing that her mom is in her body. When the security catches them, the mom's fiancé permits them to go because he wants to be a good father. After that, he also allows the daughter and mom to go to the audition for moral support. Considering the thoughtfulness of her soon-to-be stepdad, the daughter agrees to the wedding at last. However, the dilemma that the mom can't play the guitar comes into play when the performance starts. Good thing the daughter arrives at the right time. She plays the guitar backstage while her mom pretends to play. This happening opens the mom's mind to appreciate her daughter's talent and aspirations. While this is happening, Handsome is in the audience, utterly amazed by the daughter's performance. Considering the wedding rehearsal continuation, the mother and daughter return as the mom decides to postpone the wedding so that her daughter won't marry while she's in her body. 
However, instead of delaying the wedding, the daughter tells everyone how lucky her family is after the fiancé's appearance. Suddenly, an earthquake happens, shifting their bodies to their correct owners, where they finally reached selfless love. The movie ends at the wedding, and everything falls into place. The mother and daughter relationship is stronger than ever. Also, Handsome and the daughter celebrate their connection with an exchange of passionate cannibals. While this is happening, the restaurant owner's daughter succeeds in preventing her mother from giving fortune cookies to the naughty little brother and his grandfather. After that, the daughter's band wraps up the event with a song performance. Ultimately, the strange occurrences leading to a happy ending are indeed a roller coaster of a ride. What happened is such a memory to reminisce on that freaky Friday. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.